they are people of God, God is good. And all the time. Today we are being reminded as Christians who are gathered in this church that we form a very, very important part of the body of Christ. Through the sacrament of baptism, you remember we were initiated into a family headed by Christ Jesus. We became the children of God and also members of the, ch the church. We form a very powerful body, a very powerful entity, a very powerful house. And we are linked with our Lord Jesus Christ and that's why we are here this morning to testify that we are part of Jesus Christ's life. And so we are being reminded that we are together as a family bonded by Christ Jesus. We are part of his body. And we have been told today again through Paul's word that as you can look at, everybody look at your body. Don't look at my body, I'm looking at my body. And you know how your body looks like, isn't it? Yeah? Every part of your body forms you. Any part of your body, if it is deformed, you don't feel comfortable. If your hand is aching, you'll never be comfortable. Your tooth, whatever the case may be, and you want it to be whole. And each part of your body has got its own function. Right now, I'm using my mouth to talk, just as Chrysostom used his mouth, and that's, Chrysostom means the golden mouth. He used his mouth to preach the word of God to people, and a very powerful preacher. And we know the functions of every part of our body. And that's why we've been told again in the first reading that God has shared so much with us. He has allocated their responsibilities and talents and gifts to each and every one of us. Some has given the gift of singing, some preaching, some leadership skills and so on. Some have been given the gift of beating drums. I know some, if they go to start beating drums, will be going to Kapenguria, they will be going to Uyoma, will not have the same, same direction. And that is a reality. Not all of us are priests. I am the only priest here, ordained minister. You are Christians. Not all of you are catechists designed to teach. We have only two catechists here and they're doing their work. Not all of us can sing. Not all of us can sing. And each and every person here has got a function to do or a duty to do. And today we are blessed to have the Radio Maria team here. Not all of us can operate these gadgets here. I know a born is there just watching them. He's trying to be seen today very loudly so that people can hear him. Not everybody can operate these, and they are forming part and parcel of the function of the body of Christ. And so we have been called to remember, you have to do your work, they designed to you, so that our body can be complete and everything can be as per expected of us. And so if we do not perform our duties, if we do not work as Christ has called us to do, then we are deforming this body of Christ. We are not making the body of Christ be alive and livable. And so it's upon you, my dear people. Look at what God has given you to do. God is good. And do it for the sake of the fulfillment of the perfection of the body of Christ and this house where you are. And once you are performing our duties, let us embrace that with the gift of humility, knowing that whoever has given you that does not want you to brag around and think that you are the only person who can do it. No, do it with the element of humility and simplicity and with the attitude of serving the body of Christ for it to be complete. This is a call for all of us today as we journey and we start this new day. Let us be conscious that you have been called to be a functioning part of the body of Christ, not a dead part of the body of Christ. And we are finding Jesus Christ knowing in the Gospel account. He is walking around to make his part be complete, to make those who are connected with him have life. And today we are being given a picture. 
He's looking at part of his body. One part is dead. And another part, a symbol of the mother, is sad. He's taking the initiative to bring life to the dead part of his body and said, please arise, wake up and move. Do your work. He's also consoling the sad part of his body and this is the mother of this dead son. Said, Mama, don't weep. Have hope. Have life. Be joyful because when you are closer to me, that which is not right will be right. right. And so, my dear people, let us be conscious about this as well. Let us not be dead people in the body of Christ. And we know when you talk about being dead, when you're in the state of grace, you are alive. When you're in the state of sin, you are dead. And who can bring us life? The person whom we are attached to, the owner of this body, and that is Jesus Christ. He has the power to give us life. And once you have identified that I'm dead, I'm in the state of sin, there's no life in me. It's upon me as a, for the voice of church, come to Jesus and say, Lord, I am sorry. I want to be born again. I want to be renewed. Take this stain of sin away from me and give me life. For those who are sad in all occasions in our life because of the tough situations in our own lives, we meet every day, death, sickness, poverty, and so on. Let Jesus, who gave this woman hope in life, be a source of inspiration for all of us. God is good. We pray today that the Lord Jesus may continue to sustain us and be part and parcel of his body and a functioning body. Just as John Chrysostom was also given that mandate of doing his work, we ask him to also help us do the work that God has given us. As I say, the Chrysostom basically means the golden mouth. He used his mouth to preach the word of God. What do we use our mouths for? What do we use our legs for? What do we use our hands for? What do we use our intellect for? Is it for establishing the kingdom of God or it is for destroying the body of Christ? We pray today that all that we do may bring life to the body of Christ and make it a functioning body that brings grace and life to everybody. May the name of the Lord be praised forever and ever. Amen.